let me be straight with you. Smoking, vaping, weed, they've all been sold to men as signs of rebellion, cool confidence, and even relaxed alpha energy. But here's a truth that barely anyone talks about. These habits are quietly sabotaging your testosterone levels, even if you eat clean, lift hard, sleep well, and do everything else right. And if you're feeling stuck, if your energy's off, your body's softer than it should be, and your motivation just isn't where it used to be, it might not be your diet or your training, it might be the vape in your pocket, the joint you're safe asleep, or the cigarette you think is just occasional. If you're new here, welcome to the channel. This is where I share how I naturally raised my testosterone from 300 to 1000 nanograms per deciliter and help you do the same with strategies that actually work. No fluff, no shortcuts. And today we're going deep on something that doesn't get talked about enough because what we're about to break down could be the hidden hormonal handbrake that's holding you back. Let's get into it. Let's start with smoking. Everybody knows it's bad for your lungs, but what most guys don't realize is how aggressively smoking wrecks your testosterone levels and how fast it can happen. A large scale 2025 review out of South Korea analyzed hormonal data from over 10,000 adult men across various age groups, including both light and heavy smokers. The researchers found a clear dose dependent relationship between smoking and reduced testosterone especially free testosterone, which is a form your body actually uses. The heavier the smoking, the lower the testosterone levels, even in younger men in the 20s. Habitual smokers were already showing signs of suppressed hormone profiles compared to non-smokers of the same age. And it wasn't just total testosterone that dropped. The study showed that smoking skewed the balance between testosterone and estradiol, the primary form of estrogen in men. That ratio is critical. When testosterone drops and estrogen rises, you start to see the classic signs of hormonal balance, fatigue, belly fat, mood swings, and reduced sex drive. And most importantly, the researchers noted that these changes were independent of BMI, diet, or alcohol consumption, meaning smoking alone, regardless of how healthy you are, otherwise was enough to compromise testosterone production. Here's what's happening on a biochemical level. One, smoking increases oxidative stress, which damages Ladex cells in your testes, the ones responsible for testosterone production. Two, it interferes with the hypothalamic pituitary glandal HBG axis, disrupting the brain to balls communication chain that drives hormone output. Three, it raises cortisol, the stress hormone that directly competes with testosterone for dominance in your bloodstream. Four, and most damaging of all, it increases aromatase activity. That's the enzyme that converts testosterone into estrogen. So every cigarette you smoke isn't just lowering your tea, it's literally making you more estrogenic. Your beard thins, your belly softens, and your energy feels off. But you don't connect the dots because no one ever told you your smoking habit could be quietly feminizing your hormone profile. Now let's talk about vaping. This one's tricky because vaping's often marketed as a cleaner option. No smoke, no smell, no tar, just sweet clouds and a nicotine hit. But here's the problem. Vaping still delivers nicotine and in most cases, far more nicotine than cigarettes. A 2024 study from the Journal of Endocrine Disruptors found that e-cigarette users had significantly lower luteinizing hormone LH and follicle stimulating hormone FSH levels. Those are the signals your brain sends to the testicles to produce testosterone. Lower LH means lower testosterone, simple as that. In fact, in one animal study from Toxicology Reports, rats exposed to e-cigarette vapor saw a 30% drop in testosterone levels over just four weeks, along with visible damage to their testicular tissue under the microscope. Another 2025 European paper measured the hormone profiles of teenage vapors and found early signs of delayed sexual maturation, lower testosterone, and increased estrogen. Essentially, a hormonal profile that looked older and weaker than it should have for their age. And it doesn't just stop there. Most e-liquids contain propylene glycol and flavoring agents that can become formaldehyde and acetaldehyde when heated, both of which are known hormone disruptors. You think you're doing your body a favor by skipping cigarettes, but in reality, vaping might be suppressing your testosterone even harder. 
just with a fruitier flavour. And because vapes are easy to hit all day long, the exposure is constant, there's no off switch, your body never gets a break. Marijuana, the natural plant that quietly erodes masculinity. Now let's move on to the sacred cow of modern wellness culture, marijuana. Look, I get it, it's natural, it's legal in a lot of places and it's marketed as harmless, stress relieving, even testosterone friendly by some influencers. But here's what the science says. Chronic marijuana use lowers testosterone, full stop. Back in 2021, a paper in Andrology tracked long-term cannabis users and found that men who use marijuana three times a week or more had significantly lower testosterone levels and up to 50% lower sperm counts. But even newer data confirms the same thing and in even more detail. A 2024 clinical study published in Fertility and Sterility took a comprehensive look at how cannabis use affects male reproductive hormones and the results were hard to ignore. Daily cannabis users showed significantly reduced levels of LH and FSH, the two primary hormones your brain uses to instruct your testicles to produce testosterone and sperm. But it didn't stop there. These men also had lower testosterone, reduced ejaculate volume and impaired sperm motility. In plain English, their hormonal signaling was blunted and their reproductive system was clearly underperforming. The most concerning part? Many of these users had only been consuming cannabis daily for a few months. The study concluded that THC likely interferes with the hypothalamic pituitary glandular axis the central hormonal feedback loop by disrupting GnRH secretion at the brain level. That means cannabis is affecting the very first step in the testosterone production chain, sending a shut it down signal from the brain to your balls. So what's going on? The main psychoactive compound found in cannabis, THC, directly impacts your hypothalamus, the part of your brain responsible for kicking off testosterone production. It downregulates GnRH, gonadotropin releasing hormone, which leads to less LH being secreted, which means your testes get fewer instructions to produce testosterone. So even if you're sleeping well and eating perfectly, your body is receiving a do not produce signal from the top. Add to that the dopamine blunting and motivation killing effect of THC, and you've got the perfect storm. Less testosterone, less drive, more softness, more procrastination, and all that from a harmless little plant. So let's zoom out. Whether you smoke, vape, or light up a joint, the effects are shockingly similar. Late XL damage, suppressed LH and FSH, higher cortisol, increased aromatase, lower testosterone, drinking testicles, decreased sperm count. And the scary part, you might not feel it happening. You'll just notice that you're not recovering as well, your lifts stall out, your belly softens, your sex drive drops, and you chalk it up to stress or age, but under the surface, your masculinity is being chipped away. One vape hit, one puff, one gummy at a time. But I only use it occasionally. Now, this is where most guys push back. I only smoke on weekends. I just take edibles to help me sleep. I barely vape, it's social. But here's the truth. Hormones don't care about your retentions. Even occasional use can blunt the testosterone signaling cascade especially if it becomes habitual over time. Testosterone works on a feedback loop, and that loop is delicate. When you constantly introduce foreign chemicals that disrupt brain signals, increase oxidative stress, and confuse your hormone axis, you're slowly rewiring your body's natural production. The good news, recovery is possible. Here's the light at the end of the tunnel. If you quit or drastically reduce smoking, vaping, or marijuana, your testosterone can recover. Multiple studies, both old and new, show that natural hormone production can rebound within weeks of quitting. A 2018 study published in BMC Public Health found that men who quit smoking saw significant increases in free testosterone within six weeks. A 2021 cannabis abstinence trial showed that men who stopped using THC for 30 days restored normal LH and testosterone levels. And the more comprehensive your recovery plan, the faster the bounce back. That means eating nutrient-dense foods, zinc, magnesium, omega-3s, prioritizing quality sleep, lifting heavy, managing stress, cold exposure, sunlight, breath work, and supplementing smart, vitamin D3. This isn't about perfection, it's about creating the conditions 
for your body to start thriving again. And it all starts by removing what's quietly destroying your testosterone from the inside out. Let's sum it all up. Cigarettes increase oxidative stress, raise cortisol, shrink testicles, turn testosterone into estrogen, suppress the entire hormone cascade, vapes, deliver huge nicotine hits, lower LH and FSH, contain hormone disrupting chemicals, cause oxidative damage to reproductive cells, marijuana, suppresses GnRH and LH, decreases testosterone, slows sperm production, kills motivation and drive. Even casual use matters. Testosterone works on a fragile loop. Once that loop is broken, the consequences stack up. But the good news, you could come back from this. Within weeks of quitting, you can see measurable improvement. Within months, you can fully restore your hormonal function and then optimize it. If you're tired of low energy, poor performance, mental fog and stubborn belly fat, it might be time to cut the habits that are holding you back. Your body is not broken, it's just overwhelmed. Remove the blocks, rebuild the base, watch testosterone come back stronger than ever thanks for watching keep it locked here on testosterone growth for the best science back strategies to reclaim your masculinity from hormones to habits to high performance don't forget to like share and subscribe and i'll see you in the next one